Hello, welcome back to Talent Data Integration course for beginners to expert. In this section, I am going to explain you what Activity Monitoring Console is and I am also going to walk you through why we need it. And once we learn why we need Activity Monitoring Console, I am going to show you how to set it up. And once you learn how to set it up, we need some actual logs so that we can monitor the activity that we you that we did to generate those logs and then once we generate those logs we are going to use amc to monitor those so let's dive it in before going any further let's learn what activity monitoring console is it is an add-on tool or you can call it it is a plugin to our talent studio and it is also there is also a plugin to talent administration center for people who doesn't know what talent administrator center is it is just a web-based ab administration application that basically allows talent studio project administrators to create users and projects and we can manage access to remote repository you can uh, give or authorize a user access to a project or you can also create job conductors you can schedule your jobs you can uh, you can uh, do so many other administration things on talent administration center maybe uh, later sometime i will do a video exploring all the activities or administration things that you can do on talent administration center okay coming back okay so tag now you know it is an add-on tool for studio and tag uh, sorry amc and why we need it well basically it is used to ma monitor our talent jobs and projects well you can ask saying that i can even monitor my talent jobs on talent studio when i run a job well you can definitely do that but you it won't show you how long a particular component took to run and it won't show you which component is taking too much time to run and it won't show you how much data a certain component processed or etc well that's why we have amc for we will generate the logs for a particular job or bunch of jobs and then we will use that logs and we will feed it to amc and then we will see all this activity in amc with nice graphs we'll go or discuss about those in further lectures and amc it also provides detailed monitoring capabilities as i said it will provide you what each component uh, took to run how much time it took to run how many rows a particular component processed or how much time a job or sub job took to finish and etc and it also provides us a convenient graphical interface and a supervising tool which we will see uh, so very soon and it also helps us so why why are we doing all these things because in order to understand the underlying components and how different jobs interact and also to support system management decisions for example if you think a particular job is taking too much time then you can decide how to fine tune it or if you think a certain area or a certain component is taking more time than what you expected you can fine tune it too and you can make decisions based upon your business requirement or your job so basically this is what a tag does so this is a quick introduction and in the next lecture uh, we will see how to set a, set up and uh, what amc how to run it and what all amc needs thank you